Um, Mr. Speaker, a lot of people would uh, debate the small increase in HST, $300 million out of the pockets of taxpayers, that's a lot of money. In fact, in fact, some people would say that increasing the HST was the lazy way out. Oh, that was the finance minister. Anyways, on page 172 of the main estimates, overall tax revenue is expected to increase by $200 million over the next four years. Each year, bearing in mind we have a shrinking population, already the highest tax jurisdiction in North America. So can the minister advise us how her government intends to make an increase of an additional $200 million per year of tax revenue over the next four years? Is this tax increase going to come from a carbon tax? Is it going to come from a sugar tax? Maybe it's going to come from Joe Trudeau. Tell us. The Honourable Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, it gives me great pleasure again to stand up and proudly uh, speak to our team and our team's work on this excellent budget. In fact, incredible budget that we just put yeah. forward. And Mr. Speaker, it might be a good time to remind the opposition as well that uh, while we have 300 million uh, projected from HST, 100 million of this went back into the hands of low and middle income New Brunswick. And New Brunswickers are getting checks quarterly um, through HST credits based on income. And Mr. Speaker, we take care of New Brunswick families. And we continue to, to uh, always think of this as we make decisions. We always want to take a balanced approach. And I want also to address the repetitive um, <laughs> HST. Uh, next. Member for Riverview. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Minister may be uh, proud of the job that her team has done, but John Robinson of the National Post says New Brunswick gets ready to make the same old mistakes all over again. Mr. Speaker, they haven't learned anything in the time in office. They still are tax and spend Liberal government. But the Minister has made projections of revenue and deficits through 2021, but does the Minister have a revised net debt figure to share? Very quiet on this during the speeches, but the Liberal election platform indicated the net debt would grow by 1.695 billion through to 2021. But the minister should know the net debt has already grown by 2.4 billion. And there's almost uh, four years before we get to 2021. So what is the new revised net debt growth through 2021? 